Our next guest writes books that she calls self-help for people who wouldn't be caught dead doing self-help. Her latest is called Think Happy, and Karen Salmonson joins us now. What's up, Karen? Hey, What's great up, to boo? be here. Yes. Thank you Glad for being here. Happy. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so let's get into the. Well, before we get into the book, we first want to talk about you and Madonna real quick. Oh my gosh. Tell us about yes. your Madonna encounter. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well. Um, I was in a restaurant uh, in LA and I saw her at a nearby table mm -hmm. and I had just written a business book called How to Succeed in Business Without a Penis. I want to read that right? one. Where yes. I said, a woman doesn't need a penis to succeed, just balls. Yeah, so I, I, I knew it was all about the ballsy. I saw her over there. I'd written this book yeah. and um, so I decided to be ballsy and go over to her. Uh -huh. And she was sitting at a table, and I interrupted her. And I first, I interrupted her first with a compliment because mm -hmm. I figured that would do. I, I really respect your work, and right. I used respect. I didn't want to come off too fancy, so I thought right. respect instead of I love, you know, yeah, yeah. respect, you know. That's a good tip. And then I said, um, I write books that help uh, to empower women in business. Mm -hmm. And then before she could interrupt. I put the book in front of her with the title, How to Succeed Business Without a Penis. <laughs> that obviously Catchy. got her attention. Yes. yes. And she looked at the title, she laughed, she said, you wrote this book? I said, yes. And then she looked down at the name, you're Karen Salmonson, as if to like trick me. I'm like, yeah, no, I'm Karen. <laughs> and then she grabbed my arm and she said, God bless you. So I've actually been blessed by Madonna. Wow. And how has your life been since the blessing? <laughs> I mean, have, has everything changed? Everything gone amazing? It's been I mean, going good. I guess yeah. maybe that blessing that yeah, it was a bestseller. So it I was, mean, that book was a bestseller. So. It was sold in many countries, and mm -hmm. I went around the world giving seminars. Um, I guess I can be feisty on the show. I jokingly sometimes call them seminars as a joke. <laughs> as a joke. Um, and I, I, I love the puns. I love yeah, the puns. yeah, it was good. good. Yeah, it was fun. It was a great book. I okay. mean, it was a fun book to do because yeah. I love I love helping women how, how, and men. How, how I love helping you, everybody. How long did it take you to write the book, and what what preparation what went into creating that? This book. The, this, this book or the no, Madonna the, the, story book? Yeah, the Mad Madonna okay. story. Okay, yeah. all right. Um, what happened was I used to be in advertising. And I rose up very quickly. I was a senior VP, creative director, blah, blah, blah. But I wasn't happy. I wanted to write books. I kept threatening to quit, and my parents kept talking me out of it. So finally, I quit and just didn't tell them for like a couple of weeks. So they couldn't talk me out of it. Right, right. And then my first book was a novel that I wrote and sold actually to St. Mars Press, which is in this building that oh, we're wow. in. Oh, wow. Well, welcome and back. Thank you. Yeah, and then full I, circle. Yeah. Thank you. Right. And, and then I sold it to Miramax to be a movie starring Marissa Tomei. So I started to give seminars um, to women on how to pursue and snag your passion. Mm -hmm. So I was giving a seminar to a bunch of women in Philadelphia, and I was on the phone with my agent. And I said to her, just as a joke, you know, because there's that play, how to succeed in business without really trying. As a joke, I said to her, I got to go. I have to give my how to succeed in business without a penis seminar. Mm -hmm. I said it as a joke. And she said, oh, my gosh, you have to write a business book on that because you've done what you've done in advertising. Right. Now in the book publishing world because I, you know, mm -hmm. had best bestseller and then Miramax deal, blah, blah, blah. So I wrote the book and then it came out and then... The title was both the best and the most challenging thing about it because when people did go to interview me, it was always a fun interview, the way that we're talking. But then some people are like a little afraid of me. Although there's nothing to be afraid of. You <laughs> yeah, know, you're not it's, scary. It's, it's just a funny. I like to joke around. Yeah. You know, I started off as a funny writer. In fact, the novel was funny. Yeah.